morning. I am out. <laughs> I'm going to my PO box. I haven't been there for months. Um, I don't even know if I have anything in there, but I need to post something anyway, so I can post it from there. Does anyone know how, how I can be smuggled to Texas, Florida or Mississippi, I think? Is it Mississippi? So, Texas and I think it was Mississippi. I stopped the mask mandate and they 100% open back to normal life. One can only look and cry. I don't think we are even allowed to travel to America. If we were, I would be in Texas like a shot tomorrow. For, even for two weeks of normality. Yeah, if you still think that we're going back to normal this year, I don't know where you've been living. Follow the fair law not the data because Rishi Sunak just announced extended furlough to September which tells you that we won't be back to normal till at least September and then because this virus is seasonal just like other seasonal respiratory diseases we will be back in total lockdown this winter again so gonna happen I don't believe anything they say just lie after lie it's really foggy today just in case people will be asking about my jacket this is very very old jacket from um, Ted Baker I bought it like well four years ago I think so I haven't bought any new jackets this winter. I don't need to. I mean, I still have some in the loft, like my nice winter wool coats. Never bothered to bring them down. In fact, I survived all winter without even bringing all my boots down from the loft. All I've been wearing is my um, like waterproofs for walking the dog or my Ugg boots, my old Uggs. Uh, so, yeah, I did, I still have my downstairs in my wardrobe all my summer shoes. <laughs> there, there was no point, although it was a bit silly because, you know, I told you I didn't bring any of my winter clothes downstairs um, down from the loft because there was no point. We were in lockdown, but then I hardly had any jumpers, so I was buying more. <laughs> which was silly but that's okay I don't know if you can see you can probably see it through that window how foggy it is I've got two appointments this month I'm going to um, to the dentist and then I'm going to see a nurse to have my um, smear test because I'm late almost a year with that um, so yeah I've got these drugs and I hate it I hate going to any doctors hospitals anywhere like that but it has to be done and later on when I get back home I might show you in my two cupboards that I was telling you uh, last week I have uh, installed some shelves um, how I've organized it all very pleased with it I've made little labels for my boxes Paul was laughing he said God you should work in some factory doing doing like repetitive things like packing something or <laughs> because I absolutely love organizing. I like to be left by myself to sit and organize stuff. I should be maybe a professional filer, 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 you know, 
now, person that files things. <laughs> I'm surprised I still remember how to drive. <laughs> right, I am back. Made myself coffee with squirty cream in it. Treat myself. I thought I'll open my card. <laughs> But let me first show you what I got. I don't know what that is. Harvey Lauren. I have Lady Du Jour and Lady Du um samples of some fragrance. There was no note with it on anything, so I don't know who sent it to me. Never heard of this brand. Let's smell the... Oh, I can't really smell it. Yeah, by the way, my smell and taste, you know, when he started coming back, I thought that would be it. But I can only smell things really close up and my taste is not fully back. So, by the way, if any of you lost your sense of smell and taste, please let me know. Did it come back? Did it fully come back I can sort of smell it it is very nighttime um, fragrance mysterious what about Lady De Moor hmm? can't really smell the difference that well that's a shame. I ask Paul later what he smells like. <laughs> mm. But I also got quite a few bits from Wanda to Beauty. Uh, do you remember I got those uh, matte lipsticks from them, that red one, they are absolutely love. And I can see they've got new Go Beyond Foundation Complexion Enhancing Powder. So it's another powder foundation. They have sent me a light medium range. I have to research what the colors are like. But let's have a look. Right, so it is. Yeah, that should be good. It's so funny with powder foundations because they look so different. Uh, the colors in a pan but when you rub it in your hand like this looks a bit dark but when I put it on my hand it isn't so I will have to try that and I might do a video and a review they also send me Wonder Brow Long Lasting Brow Gel and Brush in Blonde I don't know how I'm going Ooh. oh Ah, I wonder how that works because this is almost like a lip gloss applicator so do you apply that with that right there's instructions here so I will read about that I'm not I don't really use pomades or you know gels I usually use just a pencil but I will try it then I got Wonder Extensions, Lash Extensions and Volumizing Mascara. I'm sure there is... Why is it blue? Is it blue? That's very strange. I don't know if you can see, but it is sort of black on one side and blue on that side. Again, this is something I need to read this is very strange yeah half of it is blue half of it is black what is that about right i can't see anything brush extension and volumizing mascara combines two formulas in the same tube that blend together seamlessly on application to create a false lash effect it works to hydrate the lash but also attaches mini 3D lash extensions. 
to create length and extreme volume. Hmm, very exciting. Shame I've, I really want to put it on now. I do it another time. And then I have a couple more of the, because they've sent me some of those before, Superstay liner. I have one in navy and one in Bordeaux. I, I like that one. Oh, and I like these, um, oh, that's gorgeous. I like um, the proper ones that you sharpen because they do another one and I think I prefer those ones. They do like retractable ones as well, I think. And I'm sure I prefer these ones. And this one is navy. They are so lovely and creamy. And I remember last time when I was showing you some of them, they were really, um long stain once they dry out they were very hard to remove oh and a little kabuki brush that's probably for my powder foundation because this one doesn't come with um one of those little sponges which i don't like anyway i've never used those they come with powder foundations i might use it if i'm out to touch up but no this one doesn't have one good waste of space okay let's read some cards so you know i've read them so this is from brenda in charlotte just wanted to say hello love watching your youtube I live in USA, keep up the great work. Thank you, Brenda. How come there is Paris on it? <laughs> this is from someone in Portland. Oh, I won't show that because uh, the card is made out of the family photos, so I can, um, I don't want to do that. Thank you. What a handsome family. This is from Peg. With pe peppermint kisses. Wishing you a lovely Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry that I haven't picked them up in time. Uh, this is from Jody in Orleans. Isn't that amazing? Oh, this is a lovely letter. Oh, from Canada. Did I say Oregon? Was it Ontario? Oh yes, from Ontario, but Orleans. Maybe that's the name of your town. Obviously, I am not going to read the letter. I will read it later by myself. Oh wow! From St. Petersburg in Russia. Dear Nisha, Merry Christmas to you and your family. I wish you good health and wishes come true from Allah, from St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is beautiful. Oh, thank you, Allah. Miss Mary Ellen. Oh, Mary Ellen. Oh, that's a Christmas card too. Oh, and some photos. Oh, your dog is so cute. Molly. <laughs> oh, the good times in Baltimore. When was that? When we still had freedom. <laughs> And New York. Look at your lovely long hair. 
Oh, that dog is so cute. <laughs> oh, so sorry, darling. You know, you even said, I hope you receive this. I have. It's a bit late, but it still matters a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's so lovely. All these are going into my box with my mail from you. And there is one more. That looks like a Christmas card. <laughs> this is from Gaina. Best wishes for Christmas. And I have a letter here as well, which obviously I'm going to read to myself. Well, thank you so much. And again, I'm very, very sorry. You probably think what a horrible woman sent her all these cards, never mentioned it. But honestly that's obviously how long oh look this is wet wipe i just got and i can't even wipe it off with wet wet wipe i'm sure eventually it comes off yeah these are very good pencils exciting i'm looking forward to trying that foundation and that mascara I'm not sure about the brow thing, but I will have a read. And you never know, I might love it. Oh, it says here. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Thank you so much again for all my cards. And again, sorry, I didn't pick them up earlier, but it's better late than never. So this gel, apply in feathery strokes using the angle edge of the brush. So do you actually apply this gel on it? groom soften with this pulley and always remove using an oil-based makeup remover oh so this must be quite i think that's what wonder beauty i know for the wonder brow that is quite long stain but because i remove my makeup with balms they are oil-based so that would be okay full of brows that are waterproof smudge proof and transproof for days oh right i might do it tonight and see how long you will last me oh i've left my coffee and my squirty cream has dissolved now right i'm going to go and do something oh yeah i might show you in my cupboard actually so this is my downstairs cupboard in a hallway this is where my washing machine lives because i don't have a um, utility room that's where my boiler is you know it's nothing pretty it's just like a cupboard boiler cupboard so I had this huge shelf put in and all my wallpaper wallpaper toilet paper now you can see what i wipe my bottom with and uh, kitchen towels it's quite deep so there is loads of room in there and then I had this shelf done and here in the corner I've got another spare one that I can put here so I've got my mop here I've got my vacuum here and also uh, can you see in here I've got like the attachments to my um, vacuum and this you know is one of those metal extra shelves that you just put on a shelf so i keep like my spare sponges bin liner stuff like that this is all for washing and bits like this but then look on here so i have a couple of these these are for your carrier bags storage but i put one here on those um what are they called command hooks and i keep my wrapping paper here this is just like a you know th that bag that you put your laundry in if you have delicates and i hang hang it on the on those hooks and i have here some dusters and some cloths and then on this side i have another one of those and in here i've got some bubble wrap if i need to send something wrapped up and then i've got this wire carrier bag um storage on the door in here what do i have in here i think it's all my my hair colors you know my tubes of hair color and brushes i 
can't remember what's in here oh in here i have all my foils for highlights because when my hairdresser comes you know i have all the stuff she just basically does it yes yeah, so i am so happy that it's so organized let me show you the one upstairs now okay so this is my upstairs cupboard this is very um, tall narrow cupboard on the back of my bedroom and uh, not bedroom bathroom so you can see there are like pipes for for my shower and stuff and i only had two um two shelves here now i have five so up there i've got like a shorter shelf so i can reach with some extra shampoos louis shampoo and can you see these are the baskets that i bought then i bought these little frames file frames on amazon and i hot glue them and then i made i've got like a little brother machine that prints these labels so and i've put some labels in here so here i've got um, spare shower gels and soaps my iron and in here look everything is labeled i've got spare toothpaste toothbrushes you know the refills for electric toothbrushes in here i've got some medicine in here i've got stuff for shaving here i've got some cloths for cleaning and here are some little travel stuff like travel toothbrushes uh, little travel containers in here is my waxing stuff and oh, i've got another one of these so here i've got more bean bags and some cleaning stuff downstairs uh, down the bottom so i am so happy i often just come and open the cupboard to look at it <laughs> yeah that's how sad i am gives me absolute pleasure to open my cupboards and seeing them so organized hi my lovelies i am having a nightmare two days now i don't know what's wrong with me but this doesn't talk to this something has gone wrong so yesterday which was thursday i filmed a review of this wig that i'm wearing right now which is henry margot candace in 10 613 gr so i filmed this review it was very good um with some tricks so of course if you've watched it because i am going to edit this video or re-edit this video today and i'm posting it tomorrow tomorrow is saturday but if you're watching this you've already seen it you know the magic of technology um so i filmed the whole video um i edited this video and it was sitting there ready to go to just press post on saturday so last night oh first of all that video took me half a day to record because like I said, this wasn't communicating with this and I couldn't get my words out. Um, I kept forgetting to press record. Then I thought I filmed it all. I looked at it. I missed out a whole bit of footage. I had to film it again. I was just so angry. And I think the more agitated I was getting, the worse the video was getting. So eventually I did it and like I said it was ready to go. I just had to press one button to post it. But thank God I didn't. Because last night I I was closing all my tabs on my MacBook just before I was going to bed. And one of the tabs was my YouTube studio where I have all my videos. And I suddenly looked at this video and the blood drained out of my brain. <laughs> I know if you've never made a video, filmed a video, edited video, you won't understand. But I looked at the 
title of this video and the title says John Renault Candice in Palm Sp Springs Blonde and I was like oh my god so I was reviewing Henry Margot Candice as John Renault's wig in different color and I thought oh my god that means that in that video I'm obviously introducing it as John Renault's wig I'm talking about Palm Springs Blonde and John Renault and that's not John Renault wig I even have the palpitations in my heart now <laughs> because imagine if I did it how embarrassing and how disrespectful to both of these wig designers if I did that so of course instead of going to bed I went back to my editing studio and tried to edit it every time I said John Renault or Palm Springs Blonde I could re I could re-record the whole video but I couldn't because in that video I already trimmed a bit this wig so I couldn't sit there and show show everybody the wig how it is now because that's not how it comes from the manufacturer <laughs> so I sat there for ages trying to um, cut out the bits that I said the wrong words and I managed it because if I couldn't then I would have to record it so today I had to sit down and record like an intro for that video because obviously the original intro was wrong and explain myself but that's not everything after yesterday I filmed that video then I sat down to talk to you and I told you I was wearing John Renault wig so that was all wrong so I had to scrap that as well and even today um, things were not going right so I eventually filmed the intro explaining myself of course words were not coming out right and then I sat down to do this what we're doing now and then I looked at my screen and it was in recording and I thought I am sure I pressed record because I'm so conscious now because you know sometimes I will pause and press record press stop and I was like I'm sure I press record so then I flipped my screen of my camera and the screen says your card is full so the memory card was full so it wasn't recording unfortunately on my screen here it doesn't show me when the card is full it only shows me on the camera screen so what I'm saying to you now I'm saying it for the third time now honestly I am going to finish this vlog here obviously there is no way <laughs> I'm doing anything else this week is Friday today weekend tomorrow I'm not touching YouTube or anything else I've been having a problem with updating my WhatsApp um, app because there is a new version that you need to update to uh, so I tried to update it asked me for my Apple ID so I put my Apple ID it says in, that is incorrect which I know is correct because I've only just changed it so I changed it again it still won't take it do you know technology is wonderful sometimes but I think it is more of a pain in a bad especially for people my age that you know like our kids grow up with it and and to them it's just like breathing to me anything new I have to learn it and and research it it's just a nightmare okay my lovelies so like I said I am going to finish this vlog I'm done with YouTube for this for the rest of this week <laughs> have a wonderful week 
and I will see you in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.